jazz is the 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 greatest form of democracy because everybody in jazz has a voice you know everybody has a voice form is called Tenth World. of soul music, which is an R&B and soul is dear to my heart because that's where I spent a lot of time playing that type of music. Latin music, of course, growing up in New York, you have that influence automatically of, of the salsa and the days when salsa was, was the ruler, was the king of New York. African music is like the root. Music from Africa is not written down. There's no writing, it's, no, it's, all, or it's all from the oral tradition. So you learn to play from word of mouth. I was always interested in music, and music was always around me growing up as a child. I wanted to play in a band with my brother, and uh, there's a pair of bongos in, in, uh, in my house, and I went down to the rehearsal and started playing bongos, and they were like, yeah, that's great, you know, come back, you know. So from then on, I became like a hand drummer from that moment on. There was a guy named Carl Potter who taught me how to play. He played with all the Tunji and the Rock Bay, and he was a hell of a conga player. My father bought me a conga and sent me to study with him. And Carl would come every, every Wednesday he would come, and I paid him $5 a lesson. And then after the first year, I got so good that he just came and taught me for free. And so that's like kind of the spirit that I started. I feel as though it's my responsibility to teach what I know as a percussionist. I mean, because you can't keep what you have unless you give it away. I am today because of my past experiences. Ah. I played with the Isley Brothers. I also played with Archie Shepp, two very different worlds. I played with a traditional Congolese drum and dance ensemble, which is really 
a different world. But what I'm trying to do is to bring all of that stuff together.